Hi, my name is Yang Tongxi from Sichuan University, Chengdu, China. And today the article I want to present is, is the uh, between the transferrin receptor one and the urine cobalt that has 2050 to 2020. Transfer receptor protein one is a really critical cellular membranes protein, and it can uh, internal transport and the metabolism of the iron is a process of intracellular functions. Additionally, transfer receptor protein one has the capability to bind with the metals beyond iron, including the cobalt and the manganese. But the specific mechanism of this binding is still unknown. So we want to explore into this. And um, we dropped the data from the 3,424 participants across into three survey cycles spending two years each from the enhanced database. And we found that the transferring receptor one's level in the human bodies has the uh, high correlation with the uh, cobalt and the, in the human urine. It's really interesting. Okay. In people's spot, most iron is carried by the protein called the transferring. This protein is especially important for the development of the red blood cell and the bone marrow. And the cell heavily rely on iron that attach to the transferring. They grab onto the iron using the specific sculpture on their surface, known as the transferring receptor one, uh, which have the in evidence. And then the cobalt also uh, only need in really tiny amounts, but it also plays a critical role in human body's health and function. One of this key job is to keep stabilized protein cause the hydrosecta introduce transcription factors, which is the factors are stable. People's body can produce small Erasmus peak and uh, hormone that signals for the production of the red blood cell. And this process is really essential for the maintaining the healthy oxygen levels in people's tissue and the uh, organs. Um, our job is to uh, find that to the enable the use of the urine cobalt level as a diagnostic for the anemia, uh, neurodegenerative conditions, because we found that the uh, cobalt level in the human urine has a positive relationship with the uh, uh, humans transferring receptor protein one level. It's really mm -hmm. interesting. Um, uh, first is the database. Um, we got all our data from the Enhance, uh, the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, which is conducted by the Center of Disease Control and Prevention of America every two years. It's a cross-sectional survey that aims to assess the health and nutritional status of the U.S. population. Uh, the, survey, the survey consists of an interview conducted in the home following a standardized health examination in specialized equipped model examination centers, which include uh, physical examination administered by trained medical personnel as well as the laboratory tests. Um, for the current study, um, we used the uh, 3,424 samples in all. We excluded the participants without the transferring uh, receptor one data and accepted the uh, participants without the blood and urine content data. These data are really uh, critical to our analysis. So we excluded these samples without them. And finally, we have the 3,424 is enough. Um, first, uh, a total of 3,424 participants were included in the study with the mean age was 
38.57 years, the mean transform receptor level is 42.18 nanomore per liter, and the mean blood cobalt level is 0 0.68. Uh, euro kilometer per liter. And we divided the samples into four groups, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4, uh, according to the transfer receptor cultures levels. And uh, biophony test was adopted to the intergroup comparison. And our project found that um, with the increasing of transfer receptor one, Codos, the proportion of the obese participants and high level blood magnets and high cobalt level in both urine and blood has increasing gradually. This, uh, it is interesting that even both cobalt and magnets have shown to be transported by the transform receptor, but the level of the uh, urinary cobalt and uh, magnets is totally different. But in the blood, they are the same. So uh, we found we should explore more into that phenomenon. And then the clinical characteristics of the participants with different urine cobalt level were shown there. And we found that uh, there is a strong linear relationship between the transferring receptor and the urinary cobalt. And a uh, higher level of urinary cobalt is associated with a higher hemoglobin and the red blood cell level in the blood, uh, which is closely associated with the presence of transferring receptor. And there is a strong correlation between the urine and the blood cobalt levels. Simple way, slow blood cobalt level was older, uh, uh, nearly 10 years older, and there is uh, no strong in the relationship between the obesity and urinary cobalt levels. And then um, our project made more exploration into the difference between the magnets and the cobalt level uh, considering uh, to the, its, re its relation uh, with the transform receptor protein. Uh, clinical chapters of the a study population in different urea mechanism level group and the blood magnets level groups are shown here. Um, we found that there is no significant correlation between the urinary magnets level and hemoglobin uh, red blood cell levels. And there is a positive correlation between the blood magnets level and the hemoglobin levels. But there is a, a linear relationship between the magnet level in urine and blood. It's really interesting. Uh, it revealed that the magnet and the uh, cobalt is totally different. Uh, we can say that in this picture, clinical chapters terms of the study population in different urine magnet level and uh, blood magnet level groups. It revealed that the uh, Magnets is um, at the difference compared to the cobalt. Maybe it's a, a result from the mechanism transferring receptor one transportism, but it's still unknown. And then uh, we're back to the linear relationship between the transferring receptor and the urinary cobalt level using the uh, uh, univariable and multivariable linear regression analyzed predicting the log transformed transform receptor level. Uh, both in univariable and multivariable eight uh, linear regression, our work found that the increasing age were associated with the declining transform receptor level, uh, magnet level in blood, cobalt level in urine and blood, red blood cell and hemoglobin level were associated with the increasing transform receptor level. It is the same to our uh, former analyze. It's uh, really interesting. And revising the analyze on the correlation between the transfer receptor and the urine cobalt concentration, the study applied both 
uh, you are validate the multivariate in the regression model to focus the level of log transfer and transfer in receptor level. So uh, finding uh, indicates that an uh, increasing in age was linked with uh, the decrease in transfer and receptor level and with higher correlation of the manganese in blood as well as evaluate cobalt level in both urine and blood uh, along the increased right blood cell and hemoglobin level were associated with and uh, decrease with the uh, uh, transform receptor levels. And uh, in detail, uh, we used the group analyze uh, for multivariate linear regression, uh, specifically predicting to the long transfer level of the transforming receptor. The study observed uh, that the correlation between the um, transforming receptor level and the cobalt uh, concentration remained statistically uh, significant uh, across different BMI categories and the uh, history of HCV infection. Uh, however, association um, did not hold statistical uh, significance in the uh, group of participants aged 65 and above, indicating that the potential age related to uh, these parties in the biochemical interaction between the transferring receptor and the cobalt level. So uh, it maybe means that the age is highly associated with the mechanism that the cobalt and the transform receptor level have the interaction. And maybe we can uh, explore more into the aging and uh, this relationship. And um, this investigating uh, synthesized the funding from this uh, three survey cycles from 2050 to 2020 involved uh, in total, 3,424 participants, and the weeks far into the transform receptor level in related to the study uh, of the uh, cobalt, urinary cobalt levels. Um, mm, we found that uh, it's uh, really interesting that the cobalt in urine has a relationship uh, between the transforming receptor in the human body. So we can detect the transforming receptor level using the urine uh, data uh, of the detection of the cobalt in the human body. Uh, it's safe and really quick. Um, in some, our research uh, underscore a positive link uh, between the transformer receptor level and the uh, urinary cobalt construction within the U.S. population. Uh, this find hold the promise of the uh, urinary cobalt using them as the biomarker of the diagnostic conditions such as the anemia, uh, neurogenerative diseases, or other diseases associated with the transforming uh, receptors low level. Um, ultimately, uh, it helped that those uh, inside can uh, inform and enhance uh, our research, uh, our exploration into the mechanism of the uh, mechanism of the transforming receptor levels bending with the uh, cobalt. Uh, it may uh, show off the direction of where uh should we go and what should we do uh, it's really really interesting that's all thank you for listening